a group of workers was put on a job from the second day onward one worker was withdrawn each day the job was finished when the last worker was withdrawn had no worker been withdrawn at any stage the group would have finished the job in 55% of the time how many workers were there in the group all right so if you understand there were a number of workers let us assume n right there were n workers who were put on a job right they were supposed to do a job but from the second day onwards one worker was withdrawn each day from the second day onwards right from second day onwards one worker was withdrawn each day which means what happens on the first day if you look at the number of days right? on the first day second day third day and so on on the first day how many workers will work n workers right n were employed on the second day n minus 1 will only work because one worker was withdrawn on the third day n minus 2 will work because one more was withdrawn and so on are you able to follow second day onwards one worker was removed each day so second day only n minus 1 workers third day n minus 2 workers again when you go to fourth day n minus 3 workers and so on the job was finished when the last worker was withdrawn the job was finished that means the work got over when the last worker was withdrawn which means this continues you see this cycle continues and finally what happens we'll have uh, you know n minus like like for example if you expand this like fourth day right n minus 3 fifth day n minus 4 and so on it goes on like this right till the last day let us assume the last day this is the last day right and last day what happens it will be n minus of n minus 1 workers yes or no each day one one worker was reduced so 1 2 3 4 so on till n minus n n minus of n minus 1 workers right this is this is how the question has been framed it says every day one worker is withdrawn and the work got over on the day when the last worker was withdrawn right so if you see uh, n minus of n minus 1 is how much n minus of n is 0 minus of minus 1 is 1 if you if you simplify this what happened on the last day n minus 1 workers they removed so n minus n is 0 and minus of minus 1 is plus 1 that means on the last day only one worker was there are you able to follow the work got you, you just simply focus on this point the job was finished when the last worker was withdrawn that means on the last day there was only one person left and then the job got finished on the last day only one person was left and the job got finished so at the end of the day when you remove that worker you find that the job is over so which means if you try see we have come from the forward direction from the first day to the last day right initially now let us go back in the reverse direction so on the last day how many workers were working one worker on the last but one day two workers three workers and so on and it goes up to n are you able to follow So instead of saying first day there were n, second day there were n minus one, third day there were n minus two, and so on till last day n minus of n minus one. Let us say that on the last day only one person was working. The previous day two persons, the day before that three persons, the day before that four persons, and so on. And first day there were n persons. Right? On the first day there were n persons. Now the other point given in the question is: Had no worker been withdrawn at any stage, if there was no removal of workers at any stage, the group would have finished the job in fifty-five percent of the time. right the group would have finished the job in only 55% of the time so whatever time they have taken here only 55% of the time would be needed if these workers were not removed so how many workers were there in the group we have already considered that there were n workers we have to find out the value of n n is equal to what right so let us simplify this now you know that work can be measured as number of persons into number of days right work is equal to number of persons into number of days so in the initial case what will be the work n persons work for one day so how many men days See, work is nothing but number of men into days, right? Number of persons who are working into number of days for which they work. So, if you see the total work here, what happens on the first day? There were n workers. So, how much of work will be done? N into one, right? Or, or come in the reverse direction again. Don't uh, go in the forward direction. On the last day, only one person worked. So, how much of work will be done on the last day? One into one. The previous day, there were two workers. So, the amount of work done by them will be two into one, right? Number of persons into number of days, right? On the day before, there were three workers. So, they three workers work for one day. Are, are you getting it? Are you able to follow this? Last day, only one person. One person work for one day. So, the amount of work done is one into one. Then, the previous day, there were two workers. Two per, per, workers work for one day. So, the amount of work done is two into one. Then, the day before that, three workers. Three into one. Then, four into one, and so on. Up to the first day, there were n workers. N into one. You can also write as n into one, n minus one into one, n minus two into one, and so on till four into one, three into one, two into one, and one into one. So this is the total amount of work done, right? This is the total work done, right? Now the same work can be done in fifty-five percent of the time if no worker was withdrawn. 
the same work can be done in 55 percent of the time if no work was withdrawn see one point that you need to understand here is how many days did the work go on how many days did the work go on see the number of days here is nothing but equal to the number of workers if you observe on the last day there was only one person last but one day there was two persons before that three persons four persons and so on on the first day there were n persons so if you see this like a series starting from one and going up to n so one two three four five six so on n persons and number of days is how much n days are you able to follow so i can say there will be total of n days this point is very important right so basically what happened on the first day there were n workers second day n minus one workers third day n minus two workers and so on till last day last day is nothing but the nth day on the nth day there was only one worker so it is like first second third fourth fifth sixth so on up to nth day number of workers is reverse right n workers n minus one workers n minus two workers and so on up to three to one workers on one worker on the last day right now if you observe he says if no worker was withdrawn the group would have finished the work in 55 percent of the time so if you if you look at it how many persons are working n persons and for how many days 55 percent of n days same same concept work is equal to number of men into number of days so n men into 55 percent of n days are you able to follow so that's the equation simplify this and you get the answer are you able to follow this is the actual case which has occurred first of all first day only uh, n workers second day n minus one workers and so on but he says if workers were not then n workers these n workers can finish the work in 55 percent of the time and 55 percent of the time here is 55 percent of n because total time is n days now simplify this what is it on the left hand side if you see 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 and so on up to n sum of first n terms sum of first n terms you know is n into n plus 1 by 2 equals to what is this 55 by 100 into n squared now simplify n and n gets cancelled here right this is like 11 by 20 or this is 11 by 10 so what do you get finally uh, n plus 1 equals to 11 n by 10 simplify now what do we get 10 n plus 10 equals to 11 n which implies n is equal to 10 so that means there were total 10 workers and they have worked for 10 days i mean the work went on up to 10 days in the process where from second day onwards each worker was removed so answer is 10.